Hello guys, welcome back to Shankar's channel. Yesterday, or I mean in my previous video, uh, we covered how to uh, install Jenkins master on EC2 server uh, provisioned in uh, AWS. And then we also uh, uh, gone through the demo session of how to, you know, uh, add nodes to the Jenkins master and how to execute the freestyle pipeline. It was a very small demonstration, a quick one. Uh, and today I'm gonna cover how you can uh, create a pipeline using a Jenkins file uh, and integrate it with GitHub. How you can utilize uh, GitHub in this scenario, right? So when you work in an enterprise environment, you, uh, you see that uh, there are uh, developers working on some codes and those codes are checked in to github but being a devops guy you uh, get a scenario you uh, are asked to you know um, create a pipeline using those codes to deploy an app or build an app so uh, i'm not going to deploy any app for now but yes i'll uh, show you how you can uh, make it work in your environment or in your uh, you know uh, Jenkins environment uh, in an enterprise level. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start uh, uh, looking at what the prerequisite we need. So I'll say demo pipeline and then I'll say hit. Okay. Here I have uh, some, you know, sections to fill in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to skip all of them because uh, this is something that you can fill it by yourself. What is this for? This is for uh, like, this is for demo session of creating pipeline, right? So this is not a, a, a parameterized project, means I'll, I'll uh, show you later on how you can parameterize it. But for this, how you can, uh, you know, last time uh, when we, uh, created a freestyle pipeline we were getting the node uh, label to mention here so that it when whatever job you are going to create it will pick the node uh, the selected node that we have in here so uh, that part we are not setting up here how we can but how but how we can set it up we can set it up like this uh, we'll go ahead and uh, say hey uh, let's check this box because uh, this, this is required, uh, but for for just testing purpose, you can also disable it, but in enterprise environment, you uh, must have the GitHub webhook uh, enabled in on the GitHub side. So that's not required for this session, all right? So that, I'll, that part I'll cover when I talk about uh, purely on GitHub, okay? So uh, the first prerequisite is uh, we are not gonna uh, create a pipeline script right here although uh, you can create it as well but what i'll do is i'll say i'm not going to create it uh, i'm not going to put the script here i'm going to uh, pick the script from the github so when you say pick the script from github that means uh, picking up the files from github and you'll have to configure git url here so one prerequisite is you need the github url another prerequisite you need the authentication to the GitHub, right? Which we will set it up right away. And the third is, which branch uh, do you need on, on GitHub to uh, get the pick files picked up from? And last but not least, but not the least is the Jenkins file, the path of the Jenkins file or the Jenkins file, right? So what I'll do here is I'll uh, fulfill the uh, all prerequisites right here. So on the next tab what you, all you need to do is go to github sign up there from with the help of uh, your username and password i already did that so what i'll do once you signed up you see this page so on this page of github you go here and say new repository so uh, i've created it with shankar's demo this is not the repository name but the account name if you see here on the right side so under uh, my account, there would be a repository called uh, demo repository, demo repo, okay, which is available. So I'm not gonna uh, keep it private for now. I'm gonna do it for public because 
uh, you you can also keep it private because authentication will be uh, based on the uh, keys and the passwords. So, but I'm just keeping it like this. I'll add the admin uh, file. Rest of the things I'll I'll set it up like this because I'm not covering any GitHub session here. I'm covering Jenkins. But since uh, GitHub integration is a part of it, so I'll uh, directly create the repository. So my repository is created. And when I go here, I see a HTTPS URL. So this is the URL. Make sure where it is, it is under code in your master branch. And this code, click on code. When you click code, you will get HTTPS and SSH URL, but you need to pick or copy HTTPS URL put it here so one prerequisite is done another one is you need to uh, configure the uh, Jenkins for it I'm sorry uh, you need to configure the credentials for it so I'll say add credentials I'll keep the username as password but username will be uh, my account name on github Shankar's demo right I, I saw I uh, showed you here Shankar's demo so it's the username and the password would not be the password that I used in uh, what do we say it in, in while setting signing up, but it is a personal access token. So what you need to do is you need to go here under profile and under settings, go to uh, developer settings on the left hand side at the bottom, click here personal tokens. I'll use classic one for now. Generate new token. I'll choose classic. And I'll say this is for uh, Jenkins and GitHub. So Gen Git. I'll keep it like this. Expiration date you can set it up. So if you set no expiration date, it will not expire. But uh, if you are hard coding somewhere, you just need to consult it with the uh, developers and the management, and then decide how you can make it up. I'll just keep everything by default and choose everything. You can scope this your this is nothing but what level of access your uh, account should have it is personal access token it defines the you know uh, um, a key that has uh, these the set of accesses so uh, for now I'll just say everything to yes yes to everything I mean like this you just need to read that access but I'm still uh, granting each and every access it has nothing to do with uh, although most of them nothing have nothing to do with the task that we are going to perform now but still so i'll say generate token so make sure this is the one time uh, visibility here so you just copy this and save it locally like this and use it uh here as the password id is something you can give like um, you can give the ID name as username as well or anything that you would like to. Or right, I'll, I'll say GitHub token. Okay. And then I'll say add. I'll leave the description as is. I'll say add here. Now here I see apart from Jenkins, we now have Shankar's demo and uh, credentials. So I'll select this. And now it's asking for the branch. Let's see what branch we have here by default under our repository. We'll go again here and then your repositories that we created, demo repo. So the branch is master by default and we already have master in here. So that's fine, that's good. And now, now we need Jenkins file, right? So what I'll do here is I'll say, add file, create new file. I'll name it as Jenkins file. This is case sensitive. So whatever you see here, either make it a small, the, uh, the J is in capital, just make it small or else uh, pick the name as is right here as well. Jenkins file, okay, and master. And you need to, uh, Jenkins file is nothing but the steps that you would define what uh, your pipeline would do, right? You can, uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna talk about. So this is all uh, predefined uh, 
sample that I created or before I, uh, you know, joined. So what I'll do it, I'll explain it. It this is the pipeline which will use the agent, agent Linux, right? We have uh, two agents installed. It will pick up the agent Linux, and then what it do? The stages that uh, it would go through. For now, there is only one check version. So what steps uh, it would perform to check version? It would say execute. It would execute the shell script, wherein it would check node version and it would check npm version. All right. So whatever steps you are defining here, it will execute it uh, there. But when we run this job, the only uh, thing you would get the positive output when you have these things these are uh, tools or the service features installed on within your linux agent linux if they are not there then there is no point of running and checking the node version you will get the failure right to have the successful job you must have the version installed installed you can use the shell script to um, use the install command here as well but uh, what i did is to make it simpler i uh, logged into this uh, agent, Linux agent, I'll restart it. I logged into Linux agent and I uh, ran these two commands. So for you, I'm showing it on this screen. So your agent should also have git installed, right? So that cloning will be possible if once executed, uh, once job is executed. So you should have git installed. So for that, you can run this command and then after that, once git installed, you can run these two commands to have a uh, node JS installed. Also, you can run this as well. In addition to it, npm install npm hyphen. And all these three commands, you should run it from the root user. So before running this command, just do sudo hyphen, sudo su hyphen, right? And then run this command these commands one by one right so uh, i have already run these commands i can show you what command i'll run through jenkins i can run it from local for now just to make uh, you aware of what i'm talking about node hyphen hyphen version right npm hyphen hyphen version so when i run these two commands we uh, got the version of node we got the version of 9.2 uh, npm 9.2.0 right so this is the output that we are expecting from the jenkins job right as an output so i'll i have created this you can define as many as steps you want as many as the stages you want right like build uh deploy right test these are the stages that you can define so uh i'll save this file i'll say first commit commit new file okay it is saved here now i'll go back to jenkins i will not do much here i'll just click apply and then save and now i'll run build now come on i'll, I'll say build now let's see what it does it has ex started ex it started executing the first pipeline and now in the console output we see a success check mark that means this job has run successfully so it is running on the agent linux that's fine that's very great it has obtained jenkins file from this github repo that we configured so very good and now it has also uh, picked up the message that we uh, put on while committing the uh, file and then as an output like i showed you node version version 14.1.1 and npm version 9.2.0 so this is the job that we can run using jenkins file we can make a use of it uh, just to add on here like we described uh, the S shell commands here uh, if you want you can uh, call the scripts you can have a uh, uh, scripts uh, folder created here and you can put several scripts there uh, separately and uh, dot sh uh, scripts and then you can call uh, those scripts uh, from jenkins file as well 
right you can have the environment variable set up here as well and that would also uh, pick up the things from here like we uh, created this right uh, what we have right mm. so we created this credential uh, you can also uh, sometimes what uh, you get you get uh, some commands that uh, has some encryption keys that has some you know uh, passwords tokens apis keys so that should be uh, uh, created here and you can mention those environment variables uh, here right and then you can uh, in the shell command you can put them as the uh, as the, as the uh, variable like uh, dollar and then the name of it so if i get a case i'll, I'll surely uh, create another video mentioning the same but for this i just wanted to let you know uh, how you can you know work with uh, pipelines other than freestyle uh, how you can work with other uh, setup of a uh, setup of pipeline using jenkins file so it is very important and these days this is how it it is uh, it works in an in enterprise level so uh, i'll i'll cover how the github a few github things like uh, how you can you know modify uh, everything from the command lines and then do the commit from the command line only but that is the part of you know github tutorial so i'll not uh, that's the reason i haven't covered this in jenkins uh, part so this is a very uh, short and very interesting uh, thing you can also deep dive by your own you can google uh, google it you can create sample pipelines and see uh, it is if it is working for you all right so thank you so much for watching this video have a day nice day ahead